Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a little sketchbook session because I've had um, this tutorial saved. I'll have the the name of the original artist who did this tutorial um, down in the description but I've been saving on to this one for a while and I've been wanting to do it but I wanted to get some more of the Copic colors that the artist used in order to achieve some of these tutorials. And so I, and I, you know, it's summertime, so it's the perfect time to practice uh, creating water. So this is a very stylized sort of water tutorial. So for the first little circle here of the water, I am using the colors BG000, which is actually not the same color that the artist originally used in the tutorial. Uh, because I couldn't buy it, the original one they were using, which I think was a B uh, four zeros, um, meaning B zero 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 kind of thing, because it was all sold out when I went to go and purchase some of the colors I was missing. But regardless, I ended up using BG zero 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 instead for the lightest. Then also used B zero two, B twelve and B23. And as you can see, what I, my approach to this kind of, um, cause basically with the tutorial that I saved from this artist, it was just showing the colors that she used and the finished, um, little kind of illustration of the water. So it's like, I was kind of guessing and figuring out, okay, how would I go about trying to achieve this same look? So I started by obviously with Copics very much like with watercolor you start lightest to darkest so i started with the bg00 first i laid that all over the entirety of the circle and then i went in with the b02 to sort of start blocking in those particular um dark water patches i guess you could call them and then i jumped back to the bg00 to kind of add a little bit more effect on the top then I started going in with the B12 to start adding a more shadow and depth to the darker kind of blobs and using finally the B23 to kind of create um, more shadow, kind of a shadow effect of the the white thro um, thro I can't say the word, frothy, there we go, that's the fucking word, um, parts of the water to kind of create more of a idea of layers to the water so i did that for the entirety and then i did go in with a white gel pen to start adding more effects and i actually started going over the circle with an additional sort of technique that i've seen people do to create some water effects which was mainly kind of part of the same idea here um and that is you create these little circles of a lighter color or again, white in this case with the white gel pen, and then you kind of fill in the connecting areas of the bubbles to create, again, sort of that pattern effect, which in a, in a way is what you're doing with the Copics as well, but I did it kind of all over with this first circle. The second circle that you'll see me working on in this video is, um, I didn't go as extreme with sort of the water bubble effect over the top, but I, I kind of, I think I might have messed up a little bit because again, I was looking at the original artist's um, drawing of this and I was trying to figure out the order of these colors. And I feel like if I were to do this particular one again, I still like how this one came out. Out of the two, I think the second one's more my favorite. Um, but I think if I were to do it over again, I would actually start off with the BG11 color and not the B00, because that's what I initially started with. I filled in the whole circle with B00, and then I kind of realized that, oh no, the BG11 is actually reacting a little bit lighter in color than the B00, because I didn't uh, really pay attention to that. <laughs> But regardless, I think it still came out all right. So obviously I use B00, BG11. I also use BG23 and BG49, but not, but I didn't use the BG49 that much. The BG49 was mainly to do the really dark pattern of shadow 
even more so than with the first circle of, again, sort of the upper layer of these white sort of bubble effects. And then I went over again with the white gel pen and just kind of lightened up some of the initial pattern of the separation between the dark patches and the sort of light uh, water froth. And I think it came out pretty well. So obviously, as you could see with when I initially showed my sketchbook page, this is a total of eight different little color illustrations. So I only did the first two for this sketchbook session because uh, the, just doing these two alone took me about an hour. Um, I'll have the exact timestamp down in the description for the length of what this process took me in real time. But yeah, so I didn't end up filming all of them, but I am going to complete all the other um, little tutorial water experiments because some of them are pretty crazy with the the colors um that are chosen there's a particularly a sunset one that's going to be an interesting challenge for sure to uh tackle so with that said again that's just my basic breakdown of how i approached these little tutorials and i definitely highly encourage you to look up that artist's name down in the description uh her first name is alice because it looks like she, I didn't realize this because again, I found this initial water kind of um, tutorial on Pinterest a really long time ago. But I did not realize that uh, this artist Alice had a ton of other like little Copic uh, illust like illustrations and tutorials like this. So definitely go and check her out. And I definitely will be because I might want to play around with more of these. But... I hope you enjoy the rest of the sort of sped up process of these water tutorials and I hope it gives you guys um, some help if you are trying to do stylized water like this. And if you want me to do sort of more in-depth, real-time tutorials and stuff like that, uh, definitely comment and let me know down in the comments because that would definitely be a, a different interesting challenge for me to do but i'm only gonna really do real-time videos um if there is a big interest in the real-time videos because again just these two alone took i mean one one of these circles took me about 30 minutes um give or take a few extra minutes so i'm i'm a slow process person <laughs> but Again, if you guys are interested in it, definitely do let me know. And also, I want to let you guys know that over on my Patreon, I have created a new tier, which is for digital drawing requests um, at $10, which this is, I will say, the cheapest way to potentially get a personalized kind of like drawing from me. If you're interested in other commissions, you can check out my Kofi. That's where all of my other commission options are. Again, the drawing request on Patreon is not a commission necessarily. Definitely read the uh, details. And those are, again, they're just requests. So if you want to request me to draw something for you and have that chance, definitely go and check out my Patreon. And if you're interested in just seeing... Um, early access to safe for work content as well as um, mainly not safe for work uncensored artwork definitely you can find that all over on my patreon so with that said I will actually uh, stop my uh, rambling here and see you guys in the next one <laughs>